Uh, a couple of nice trout, one after the other. I did say there was some little red blobs on the bottom here that might have been trout, sure enough. Hey guys, in this episode we do a catch and cook up in Cooktown with the coral trout that my friends Ruffy and Chris caught. Uh, we got smashed by the weather while doing it. We're hiding from the squall. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the episode. Okay, we've uh, come back to Cooktown. We've just got off the water. Uh, we're going to cook up the trout we caught yesterday and uh, we're going to do it with a little bit of garlic this time and um, just to put a tiny little bit of flavour through it. So we'll get started. Now first up, we're going to just cut it into meal sized pieces. So I've uh, already done some of it already. So I'm just trimming the fish up now, cutting it into just nice little meal sized pieces that aren't too thick. That's why I'm cutting it diagonally like that. Around about a centimetre thick. Trimming off any blood or sinew areas. Now some of you might say that coral trout doesn't need any flavouring mixes or anything like that, which is fair enough of course, but uh, sometimes we like to toss things up, do things a little bit different. I do like a little bit of flavour with my fish. So I've got a bit of flour mix here, just flour and a few herbs and bits and pieces. I'm going to put the fish in here, going to do about six pieces at a time. I'm just going to get a bit of air in that bag, lock it off, spin it around. So we've got a little pocket of air, and now we just give it a good shake around, turning the bag as we do it. Make sure you use some pretty good quality freezer bags for this because you don't want it exploding in your face, and you don't want that bag really inflated, just, just nicely inflated. Next up, we're going to cut up a few cloves of garlic. Just going to trim them up nice and neat and cut them into small pieces. You can buy the crushed garlic as well to do this if you like, but I just like doing everything fresh. Trim the ends off. You don't want enough to kill a vampire, just enough to put a little bit of flavouring in with the butter while the fish is cooking. Like I said before, we're not actually adding it into the flour mix that adds that connects to the fish. So we're just going to chop these up nice and fine. Next up, we're going to get the barbie ready. Oh! <laughs> It's hot, he's already got it on. <laughs> Woo. We've got the barbecue uh, preheating here now. We've got the fish ready. So we're gonna add a bit of butter, a little bit of oil on the pan and the garlic, and we're gonna cook the fish in amongst it all and toss it around a little bit. Now we're just going to add the fish, just lay it on top of the garlic for a bit and we'll toss and turn it. Just going to sprinkle a little bit more olive oil on it. Olive oil, peanut oil, both the two good ones to use. While I'm cooking the fish, the girls are going to prep the salad and get it all ready. They have a nice little feast in the bush. Now I'm going to turn them over now, usually around about two minutes and not a boiling hot heat, just a medium heat. Okay, I'm turning them there now, just getting a little bit golden brown. I just sprink, just toss that bit of garlic off the edges back onto the pan again. So I'm going to turn all these over now. Another couple of minutes on the other side and we're done. So it should be perfect. Righto mate, what's cooking? What's cooking? Garlic buttered coral trout. Oh yum. Let's give it a go, eh? Oh beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I love it. There you go. Give that a crack mate, see what you reckon. Yeah. Just a nice little flavour through it with the garlic, not too much. Unbelievable. Perfect. Beautiful. Unbelievable. There you go. Garlic buttered, coral trout, on the barbie, in the bush. Mm. If you enjoy this little catch and cook guys, like us on Facebook, subscribe to Instagram and, and YouTube, and if you only want some special tips, we send out by email only, head on over to our website, ryanmoodyfishing.com, and sign up for free email updates. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, we'll see you next time. I think we're going to get out of here shortly, because we've got a squirrel coming. What do you reckon? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're we hiding from the squall. <laughs> <laughs> we got rained out. Oh, don't you love Cooktown weather? We're retreating like chickens <laughs> to the caravan.